All right, you have to permit me a little bit of fun here. This is uh, something I want to get out. This is probably my favorite steam engine so far. It's actually a German prototype. It's a BR-18. This is a Fleischmann version. You can see the problem I'm having with it. I had custom sound added to it, but the drive is in the tender only. And I think gears are slipping because you can up oh, so there it goes. And it'll run for a while. Oh, then it stops. And, I, and you can hear the sound. So I think you know the decoder or motor thinks it has voltage. But for some reason, I might have to take it to the bench and take this apart. I think gears are slipping in the end. So if I get it moving, it'll go for a while and then stop. So Eh, just something I wanted to show. This is a uh, again. Let me. Uh, I'm using this off of the main. So I'll change the direction. Try to bring it back and see if it'll move. Now you can see it's there's something not quite right in there. Let me get it back. And eventually, I'm just going to stop it. But I like it. I think it's just, this is one of the locomotives that really kind of got me, you know, into the, the German steam. Just think it's just the, I don't know, it just looks classy to me. I really, really like that one. And I wish I could get it to run right, so I guess I'll have to take her over to the bench and see what I can do to get this uh, little beauty running better. This is the actual, uh, the actual model itself is pardon the quick spin here <laughs> uh, Fleischmann 4118 it's an older one I've had it for years and uh, like I said I had it uh, sent out to have a custom decoder added and I got it back it uh, I did I'd, unfortunately I didn't run it right away so I don't know if I can go back to the guy and say hey something's not right with it but it's been probably seven years so <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna get very far with that anyway one of the things I want to do to get this guy running, I really, really like this one. I got a soft spot in my heart for German steam <laughs> and Swiss electrics and other stuff. Anyway, <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get this to the bench and maybe I can do something to it. Okay, here at the bench, and I uh, decided to take this BR-18 apart, see what's going on inside it, and it turns out it was really nothing in the main locomotive. That's just... Uh, Electrical pickup and it's free rolling. It's nothing's driven. Uh, the the decoder oh, that was installed is is in here, and then this little piece goes back into the tender. Because this is a tender look. And then what I did was I noticed that um, kind of took the tender apart, got the all the instructions, got it apart, and uh, looking into it this weight sits in there then there's some gears and it was binding um, when it was rolling at a certain point it would bind up uh, well maybe that's the problem so what I did was I took everything apart uh, took out the motor and the motor runs fine I hooked it up to, with my bench supply to 12 volts and it cranks away and then what I did was I took all the gears it's really not all that complicated I don't know how well this will show up but basically there's a gear because the motor obviously sits across in there and then these two little worm gears they drive these bigger gears would sit here and here and they're on these little shafts that I had to knock out and then below that I don't know how well it's going to show up in here and here are these two gears and then you know the big one in the back meets up with this one here in the front and the one in the front then just drives the gear on these uh, two axles have got a gear in them and that's what's driven and that's all there is to it but it was it was definitely binding up um, as I rolled it so what I did was took it all apart took these up cleaned them up a little bit used a soft brush had to brush them out there was a fair amount of uh, lubricant in there, but I don't think that would have been a problem. But and as I was rotating it, I noticed there's a certain spot where it seems to bind. 
So I took my handy magnifying glasses and looked at all the gears and I didn't really see anything obvious. Um, so what I'm going to do is, everything's cleaned up, this has all been cleaned up. Now it's all dry but I can you know very easily re-lubricate it with a small amount of lubrication. I'm going to put it back together, get it assembled, see if it rolls okay. If it does, then I might consider, since I have it all apart, the um, the rear light bulb sits right there. And it is where? It's just this little guy right here. And according to the... Whoop, sorry about that. Little incandescent, 8 volts. So, if that's true, and I'll test it. That's the light bulb connector right there. Um... You know, maybe I'm considering maybe changing it to LEDs. We'll see. Because that just sits right in there. I mean, since I have it all apart, now will be the time. And also now will be the time to get some weathering on it, too, if I really wanted to. Um, and now, if that fails, and if, you know, cleaning these up and putting them back together, um, you know, doing a little bit of lubrication and running it doesn't fix the binding, I really don't know what else to do. I guess then I could try... You know, based on the instruction sheet, I uh, can't even read that. Although, not that you really need to read this, but uh, let me just drop this down here. You know, it does have the, the part numbers for the gears um, from Fleischmann. So maybe I could, uh, I think those are the gears right there. Maybe shoot me an email and see if I could order the gears. And then go ahead and try to re-gear it. Um, you know, put put new ones in. But... Like I said, I didn't really see anything on these. I didn't see any teeth that looked really bad. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to... Let me try to zoom in on them. But they looked okay to me. Um, you know, I checked them all again with, with the magnifying glasses and looked and cleaned them up a little bit. And I didn't really see much that looked... That would maybe say, oh man, that's that's why it's binding. So, I love it does what I might do again. I put it back together and then... If it binds, try to mark, when I'm rotating it, mark, you know, put a little white mark on the gear itself where it binds, so then take it out and look where the mark is and see if I do notice anything. Uh, other than that, I don't know what else to do. I mean, it really isn't all that complicated a locomotive. Now you have it apart. So, all right, let's put it back together and, and see what the heck happens. So, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to rescue this BR-18, because, again, this is uh, definitely one of my favorites. So, all right, let's see what happens. All right, here at the bench, kind of setting things back together, and I got uh, got power hooked up to it from the layout, and I got my little Volcaran throttle. So I got power to it. It does run, but it does the same thing, though. It, it, and I can get it running, then it'll start to slip. It's a nice runner when it runs. <laughs> Then all of a sudden it'll just stop. I'm not probably watching it, it'll probably work perfectly. There it goes. So, for some reason, I bet right now, if I did very carefully, see the motor's running and it's, it's slipping on the gears in there for some reason. I can shut it off and you'll see it stop Get that focus uh, it's it's running but for some reason and the gears up here are working I don't know how well this is show anyway I'm not sure people really are too concerned about my locomotives but <laughs> it's just an interesting challenge so there it goes and the gears are working even the ones below I can see them working but, the locomotive, see, it shouldn't do that. It shouldn't roll free. So, it's something between the gears, the one gear down to the gear on the wheels now, oops, is causing it to be loose. So, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's a little bit beyond my skill range. Maybe I'll try to contact Fleischmann, just try to order some new gears and see what that does. Other than that, I don't know, because other than that, the lights work, and I did discover that the light... Voltage is 7.26 volts. 
so I know that if I ever want to try to get this thing to LEDs and like I said it, uh, it does work and sounds work and I'm sure it'll probably sound like it's moving so <laughs> see it really wants to be moving but just for some reason the gears slip all right enough playing with this I'll have to see what I can do just thought it was interesting I said I really like this locomotive but uh no joy, no joy in uh, in Fleischmann BR18 country today. Eh, we'll see what happens.